this talk The Jesse K. Ward coming at ya. Happy Friday, and thank you for joining me for another special edition of Jazzy After Dark Artist Talk. It is Friday. I don't know about you guys, but I'm glad the weekend is here. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. So if you could just go ahead and share the video, share the live, share the love. We have a special guest tonight. I'm so excited. My friend, international recording artist. She's a songwriter. Heidi Tan has that it factor. And if you don't know Heidi, shame on you for not knowing Heidi. Well, what you can do first, guys, is jump over to K Ward Radio, my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe as well as kwardradio.com. That's right. So kicking off tonight's show. And again, anybody celebrating a birthday this month? Happy birthday to you. And again, I want to thank everyone for all of their support. I apologize. I was just running a little late, but that's okay. I'm just going to blame everything on the pandemic. I know things are slowly about to open up, but that's what I'm going to blame it on, okay? So again, thank you all so much. So my, my guest, Heidi Tan, international singer-songwriter. Heidi is a Filipino-American singer-songwriter. She sings with so much class, y'all. She performs a little bit of Latin jazz a little R&B, a little pop. Mm -hmm. But let me show you just, let me let you listen to just a little snippet of Heidi right here on Artist Talk. It's been a long time to play together, trying hard just to make it work. And I know this is a 
Hey, it's Friday night, y'all. I was over here jamming to my friend Heidi. <laughs> and again, if you don't know Heidi, you always hear me say on this show, shame on you for not knowing Heidi. So let's show Heidi a lot of love. Let's share the video and let's welcome international recording artist Heidi Tan to Artist Talk. Hi, Heidi. I think we've lost Hi. Heidi. Are you froze, Heidi? We're freezing. Are you freezing? Yeah, we're freezing. Hi. Hey, Heidi, welcome to the show. I hear you, <laughs> but I'm just not moving as much as I'm talking. Right. Well, can, you can hear, hear you. Me. You can hear me great. Well, welcome to Artist Talk. I'm freezing. <laughs> You're freezing again. My body's freezing. I'm frozen. Here you could, but my body's frozen. Okay. I was going to say, maybe you should try to turn off your Wi-Fi. Yeah. Can you turn off yeah. your Wi-Fi? Let's see. So, you know, everybody I just... can hear it's just not connecting. So... Okay. So how do you want, you want to try your no, your maybe I should move you want to try, okay you want to try your laptop again and I just keep talking okay okay everybody yeah what? okay we can try the laptop again okay I'll be right here and then you, you want to just log back on to that link for me. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, again, welcome to uh, Artist Talk. I'm Jazzy K. Ward. We're just having some technical, <laughs> you know, things happen. So my friend Heidi is going to come back in the room and show us her beautiful face. She's a beautiful lady. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Heidi Tan. Hey, Heidi. Hey, I can hear you now. The last is <laughs> working. Yeah. Okay. I understand. Yeah. Heidi, I'm so glad to be here with you on this Friday. Well, Friday. I'm excited. I'm so excited for you, Jesse. <laughs> thank you so much for your support. And, and again, thank you so much for sharing your beautiful gift of music with not only me, but just with the world. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I was saying thank you so much for, sh for sharing your beautiful gift, not only with me, but just with the world. Oh, you're very, it's my pleasure. It's an honor, actually. It is an honor to be able to share my music to everyone, to all the listeners. It's not, I'm very humbled about it that you guys are appreciating my music, which is, I am so grateful. Oh, you're so welcome. And again, I want to say happy Friday to everyone. I see people coming in the room. We have Whittington Steele, another beautiful lady, Kenneth Wynn. We got Al C4. Hey, Tony. We also, have, we also have Randall. And again, everybody, welcome to the show. If you have questions or comments for yeah. Heidi, just post them there and we will do our best to answer those, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so Heidi, other than that, how was your day today? It was good. I went to work today and I uh, I got up a little early. So I had to work extra hours a weekday so I can work take up early today. <laughs> That's how you do. Work smart. That's right. It's all about working smart. And I think a lot of us, again, happy Friday, Tyrell. You know, working smart. I can even go back, Heidi, to just a year ago. Mm -hmm. you know, I never thought in my lifetime that I would even live through something like a pandemic. Oh, tell me about it. <laughs> no, it's been a blessing. It's been a curse for, you know, uh, I think a lot of us, but you know, how have you been navigating through that entire process? Oh, um, I'm fortunate enough because that time last year I was working from home, so I didn't have to go out. So it's kind of a, a little weird because there's no place to go and you used to go dining in restaurants and 
you can't anymore. And and then when you go out, people are kind of freaking out. Hey, don't go close to me. Like, uh, you need to wear a mask. Like, so everybody was just so scared. And mm-hmm. but I'm okay. It's just, a, and then I can't go to the gym. The gym was closed. So right. All the things that I used to do, I do. I have to do just walking. But it's okay. We managed to survive. So luckily, we're still alive, right? Right. Right. That's right. So for me, I, I had to find another way because, again, I used to go to the gym every morning. So I go to the park, you know, I, I bring my weights, I bring my resistance band. Did you find this way that you had to be more maybe more creative or think about other ways yes. to do things? Yeah, because I'm so sport. I want I, I know what my workout, my plan is. This is what I do 40 minutes and do weights. But now, oh, you can't do that anymore. So I am walking now, 45 minutes walking, and then sit up. So I incorporate my own workout, which is good, right? That's good. That's right. Yeah, power. Yeah. You got oh. you got you gotta do something. You gotta you know be creative. Exactly. That's what, that's what you said. You have to be creative. So. That's what's important right the way well, right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I want to say congratulations. Is that your daughter who just graduated? Yeah, I was just actually, it's a throwback. That was like two years ago when she okay. graduated from USC. So, yeah, I was, okay. and we were just kidding about, did you bribe anyone? No, I don't have the money. <laughs> that's a joke. <laughs> well, so, Heidi, so everyone that's, that's coming on the show, again, we have international. Our singer songwriter Heidi Tan, Heidi Tan, with us tonight. So make sure you go over to Heidi Tan Music dot com, which is her website. Check out her amazing music, and also we're going to talk about tonight. She has a new song. You know, I want to feel your body. I'm sorry, I'm touching myself, y'all, but I love it. <laughs> I want to feel your your body. Did you write that song like during the pandemic? No, it's actually Alan Litch had that song on his catalog and he sent me a couple of songs and this is the one that actually got my attention and then when he sent it to me i gotta sing this song alan so yeah this is one of those songs that when you hear i got kind of bad you know drawn into it and i i've got to sing this song all so, right Most yeah. definitely. And it's you very people- romantic <laughs> <laughs> and if you haven't heard the song Again, you need to you need to hear the song. I want to feel your body. But Heidi, when I listen at your voice, did you come from a musical family? Your voice has so much soul and richness and tone in your voice. I know, probably because I have listened too much to a lot of uh, soulful singers okay. growing up. Ella Fitzgerald when I was five years old, and Natalie Cole, um, Billy Holiday, Sergio Mendes, Frank Sinatra. All okay. kinds of say Sarah Bond, so Anita Baker, Patty Austin. So, oh. yeah. yeah. Did you have the opportunity to either work or, or meet any of those artists? No, I wish I met Patty Austin a few years ago here in Pasadena. And she's a sweet soul, oh my God. Oh. Heidi, I love Lumpia, I love Pansit. You are so funny, Patty Austin. <laughs> She sounds like, you know, like you're just friends. I can't believe I'm talking to her. Yeah, she's so humble. I can't believe. I'm a fan of Patty Austin. So, oh, I yeah. love Patty Austin. I, I, love her. Her. I mean, I followed all her out. I told her, you know, I have five of your uh, CDs, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I hope to meet Patty Austin one day and maybe she'll come on Artist Talk. Okay, if you're watching Patty, okay, you know. I know. Well, I met George Benson. He had concerts in the Philippines many times. So yeah, George Besson was big time in the Philippines too. Okay. Do you perform a lot, Heidi, over in the Philippines? Or international? International because yeah, I started at, at the age of five, but by the time I was 17, 18, I was joining bands. And before I, I graduated, I was staying five nights a week in a hotel, oh. five nights, yeah. And then, after a year of singing with the band, I was traveling to Japan at the age of 22. Oh, wow. Singapore, Malaysia, Hong Kong, Indonesia. I've been traveling. You, you've been traveling. Well, next time you go, Heidi, when things get together, you know, just take me as a background singer or something. I'll take you anytime, Jassy. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to go back to, the, to Asia to perform. 
Okay. What about like any family members? Was anybody else in your family big singers? Yeah, my mom used to sing, and she's a like those a uh, lounge act, like piano bar. bar so yeah, he okay. was singing, and then my dad sings. My uncle is a piano player in the Philippines. Uh, so she was, he was the one who, who coached me and taught me all those old standard songs. So every day he would come, he'd come and play piano and he'd train me all this uh, old music that you know, I had to learn. Okay. So, you, know, you know, with you singing international, for those watching, what's the big difference singing over there versus singing here in the States? Um, not much difference because, um, it's just different crowd because it's, it's just because I have performed in Asia. So most of the time, the people that watches me in the hotel are not even Asian, like people who checked in in the hotel. So I'm so used to performing with different ethnicity. It's something not new anymore to me, but I just have to sing the Japanese song or Chinese song. Yeah. The local. All right. I love that. So, hey, Courtney, everyone, again, I'm Jazzy K. Ward, your host for Artist Talk. I'm talking with my friend, singer, songwriter, Heidi Tan. We're going to take a short break. Again, if everyone would share the video, and we're going to check out a performance from Heidi. I promise you, you don't want to miss. And if you don't know Heidi Tan, shame on you for not knowing her. So, <laughs> you get to know her a little bit up close and personal. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. Hi, this is Jazzy K. Ward, your host for Saturday Jazz Affair on FM 90.7 WVAS. Join me for a new segment of Artist Talk. That's 10 a.m. Central Standard Time each Saturday on WVAS. We're going to talk to artists about their music, have great conversation, and much more. That's on Artist Talk. A 90.7 FM WVAS. Of course, you can stream the show via WVASFM.org. I hope you can tune in. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Artist Talk. We're talking with our singer-songwriter, Heidi Tan. So, Heidi, you know, this song, I remember when I, I saw this performance, you singing Missing You. I mean, I think it's a beautiful ballad. It's a love song. But I just, I just love you performing live. It's like this, and I know you've been doing this a long time, but it, <laughs> you do it so natural. And I, I can't wait till I can see you perform live. Though. No, what well, stage is my playground? They always joke about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, is there a story or anything about the song "Missing You"? Well, "Missing You" is actually um, written by Gary Ford which is the best friend of Rex Salas. And you know Rex Salas, right? He has right. worked with Janet Jackson and Vanessa Williams. Mm -hmm. and, and Rex and Rex uh, came to me in 2018 and asked, and I met him and I was so starstruck. And he said, oh, do you want to write, do you want to sing, um, let's write a song for you? And I was excited. And then after like a few weeks, he sent me the song, Missing You, without the lyrics. And he was asking me, what do you think of the title? Do you, can you think of a title for this song? And I was just listening, I said, missing you. And then after two weeks, he, Gary, Gary um, said, uh, did the lyrics, but Gary, this is Gary's love story. Missing you is about Gary's heartbreak. So he always tells me this comes from my heart. This is my own love story. So it's like very heartfelt song. Okay, so. well, everyone, I, I'm anticipating for you to see this beautiful performance by Heidi Tan. This is Missing You, right here on Artist Talk. I'm 
I'm missing you, Heidi. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, I miss the live band. Now you're making me miss it more now. Whoa, wow. Uh, oh, Heidi, that, that, that is is that your is that your band? Yeah, those one of my, I use a lot of but this is Rex Salas and uh, yeah, some of the bands that we use, you know, those session bands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that we use, but they're great, great guys, they're great musicians. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. so proud to be to be able to perform with these great guys. I mean, some of them have performed with named artists. Can you believe that? <laughs> Miley Cyrus. <laughs> yeah, Janet Jackson. So. Oh, wow. Hey, Costella, Costella. Hey, Hi, Courtney. Costella. My sister, Courtney. <laughs> Hi, Courtney. Ooh, Courtney. And James so said, he said, Hi, wow, James. Heidi. James said, Heidi can sing. Oh, James is such a, such a sweetheart. He's always like, you know, like all, liking all my posts, Costella. Courtney, hey! <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I mean, Heidi, you perform with so much class and ease when you're up there on the stage. <laughs> you know, it's, it's hard. You don't see a lot of that. I'm so old. Like, I'm like 80 years old. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I don't mean it that way. I mean, just. I know, I know. I'm kidding. Your, your style is just, you know. It, a lot of times, you know, we don't really get a chance to see that a lot of days. 
Now, well, when I was starting, I was nervous before. I was nervous before the show started. You know, every every artist when they start show, they get this a little bit of you know a, a little scared and fear. But once you're there, it's showtime, baby. <laughs> it's showtime. Oh, it's all out, yeah. <clears throat> you know, uh, and Heidi, you know, just to ask you, you know, a lot of times you say, you know, music is healing. It's it's most definitely healing, and. Yeah. You know, even when you're performing there on the stage, like what do, what does music heal you from? Oh, you know, sometimes when I'm even stressed from work, the moment I listen to music, it's just my spirits changes right away. It's just weird how music can change you. Like suddenly I feel like, you know, I'm, I wanna dance. I just, it just lifts me up a lot. Right. It's healing is actually music is healing heals our soul. Yeah, it, it, it yeah. does, it most definitely does. So what parts of yourself, Heidi, do you protect the most? What part of what? I didn't hear that. What parts of yourself do you protect the most? Oh, you know, um, I'm kind of sensitive and vulnerable, so I kind of try to take that out when I'm performing. I try yeah. to bring the best of me and not the, the negative side of me, because by by nature, I am a very positive person. I'm very optimistic. So they say either you are a realist or an optimist, but I'm I'm very optimistic. So I yeah. think things can still change. You know, things are still gonna get better. After pandemic, I was like, don't give up guys. You know, things are gonna get better. I always tell everybody that. So Yeah. So you know, I, you know, I don't know, <clears throat> you know, being sorry, being in the business. Yeah. So whether being on a record label or being an independent, you know, recording artist, you know, what's been what's been some of the challenges that maybe if you've had any in the business? Well, challenges is well after the song the album was released. What is next, Heidi? What are you gonna do about it? So, and I was kind of thrown in the in the water, and you're on your own. So, I mean, Rex was giving me some advice, but for the most part, it's just Heidi doing the work. And I was, it's just my networking skills that I've learned through, you know, through years that I know how to, I know how to talk to people. I have no problem talking. That helps a lot. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. What, what advice can you give someone that wants to follow you in your footsteps, that wants to come in the business? Because, you know, you always hear people always say, Heidi, don't go into the music business. <laughs> Yeah, it, this is not an easy business, but it's the most accomplishing business. Once it, it's it's a lot of I must admit it's not easy because there will be days that uh, did I make a good decision? Why did why why don't I just work in the office and just you know chill? I mean, music takes a lot of your time, but you know I can never do anything you know aside from music. I mean, if I retire from work, I still do music. So I don't know. It's just very addicting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, music, really. Yeah, it's, it's my life. I grew up with music, and I learned in five years old. I was already singing. Can you imagine that? Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah, yeah. I was singing, and my 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 aunt were playing piano, and I was I was on their side listening to them while they're playing piano. So, oh wow. Yeah. So, do you play any other? Do you play any instruments, Hi? I play piano. I'm you not play. good. But I can play piano, so <laughs> <laughs> I need to practice. <laughs> so if, if if you think you had to stop music today, I mean, what would what would Heidi Tan, what else would you be doing? If I'm not, well, I'd probably do a life coaching and aesthetic, health and beauty. Obviously, I like being, you know, take, taking care of ourselves. You know, it's not the only physical, but the mental and, you know, emotional well-being, everything. Yeah, I can see you in that because you're such a pretty lady, Heidi. Yeah. <laughs> It's just positivity. I, I kind of try to uh, to bring some sunshine to someone. If okay. I could make uh, someone's life better, I would do that. That's my passion, helping people. So I don't mind sharing my blessings and what I've learned. So if people are want to ask me for advice, I'm ready to talk. I mean, if you want advice from me, I'm ready to share it with you guys. Yeah, and that's what I notice about you, Heidi. You know, I follow a lot of artists and I see you, you know, just you know virtually you know from videos from you maybe live on facebook or other social media sites you always seem to be so positive and you always smile 
And you know, my mom growing up, I can remember she always told me, your attitude is, <laughs> is, is the best. And I think we never know what people are going through, Heidi. So whether I put on a Heidi Tan CD, you know, if I'm having a bad day, I can put on a, a, a Heidi Tan CD because again, you know, music, I always say music makes the world go round. But yeah. think, you know, you never know how a smile can really be important to someone today. I know. Well, even at work when people are kind of down with, with their life, I mean, I tell them this is what you should do. Maybe you can. I give a lot of advice, but if you don't want to take it, it's up to you. But at least I, I, I was able to share you what I know. So right. there's one thing about me. I always want to share what I know. And if you want to take my advice, it's just up to you. But at right. least I was able to help you, right? That's right. That's right. So, you know, Heidi, switching gears a little bit. So if I was in your area and I said, well, come on, Heidi, I'm going to ride with you. Let's just, let's go to the, I don't know, let's go somewhere riding. If I got in your car, <laughs> if I got in your car, like, who is Heidi Tan currently listening to? What would we be listening to? Well, well. A lot of soulful songs, for sure, right? right. And I'm old school. I still listen to George Benson and mm -hmm. old school music values. And like, hey, that's so 87, 89, 90s. I don't care. That's what I like. <laughs> I'm old school. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I like Ariana Grande. I like a lot of new artists, uh, okay. Billy. So, but but still, I still want my my old school music. So yeah. Yeah. keep that in my catalog. So if if um, let's ask you this: If you had to say pick an artist, it could be a pop artist, could be a jazz artist. Who who would you like to do a duet with? Well, I've been saying Bruno Mars. <laughs> <laughs> he's the guy. He's the guy. He's the one. He's so talented. My God, he's a songwriter. He can dance. He can sing. He can write. He's everything. So. Yeah. Pretty much because I loved. I was a dancer too when I was. In, I was a cheerleader, cheerleader, and I was dancing too when I was in high school and choir. So it's kind of go back to back dance and sing. So Bet. okay, who can, dance, who can dance? I love them. Okay, I could I could see that Heidi and Bruno Mars. We're gonna put that out there. So in case Bruno Mars or anybody connected, <laughs> uh, Bruno, make sure you get with Heidi <laughs> so you all can do this. Song. I know. Please. Yeah, I follow this uh, his uh, page on Facebook. I mean, his new single is awesome, right? Yeah, he, yeah, he's I mean, all, all yeah. He, he, the, he, he's amazing. So, so Heidi, do you follow the um, the verses that they do that they've been doing since the pandemic? Have you been following those? Um, like what, for example? Uh, versus, you know, like they get say Patty Labelle, and then they did a uh, Patty Labelle and Gladys Knight. Did you see that one? No, I did not. Yeah, you know, they do, so they do the verses where they just, they get, an, a, say, um, an old school artist. And it's not a challenge, but just to kind of, I would say, celebrate the artist yeah. and their, their music. And I was going to ask you, if you had seen it, if Heidi Tan could do a verses, say, with another artist, who would you like to do one with? Well, of course, Patty Austin. Huh? <laughs> yeah, she's my ultimate soulmate. <laughs> I, I know sang all her songs, so yeah. Just yeah. leave the door open, Castella say. <laughs> I always leave the door open if Bruno Mars is gonna knock, right? <laughs> Put Heidi Tan on the remix. Heidi Tan and Bruno Mars leave the door open remix. Right? <laughs> Uh, they were saying that I want to feel your body should have a do it version, but it's possible. We can make it a do it version, right? That's Let's do it. Yeah, we can do a do it version of I want to feel your body, right? That's right. <laughs> I want to feel your body. So I, I don't know if you told us again, but I want you to tell me who wrote the song I want to feel your body. The song by Alan Litch and Pete Tokar produced the track. So mm -hmm. Alan Litch is, you know, you know the song Friends and Lovers. By Gloria Glory in the eighties, he was the one who wrote it. It was a hit song, right? That's yeah. Alan. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. what I'm going to do is for for those who haven't heard, I'm going to just play a yeah. snippet of Tidy. I mean, of Heidi's latest release. I want to feel your body. So everybody, you're going to play the song and just just rub yourself just a little bit. 
<laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, right oh. here on, on Artist Talk. Baby, turn the lights down low. Come lay by my side. I want to take a first time slow. Oh, no, make it last all night. Baby, fill me up with your love. Touch me anywhere you please. Baby, give me all that you've got. Wrap your body around me. Cause I want to feel your body all over me, baby. <laughs> I want to feel... Okay, I was gonna try to sing the song, but I'm gonna leave that. <laughs> to, to no, you should sing it. I always see, I see you like trying to sing it when you were playing it last time. <laughs> oh no, what, what a beautiful- You gave me a hard time. It took me like four takes, five really? takes. Yeah, because I gotta sing it with soul. At first, oh, I didn't sound right. So, and then I had to, Heidi, you had to sing it. I had to sing it four or five times. <laughs> okay. And James Dunn said, he, he said, yeah. I have to get a, a copy of these CDs. So Heidi, tell people how they can go and support you, how we can support you and get your music. Well, they can go to the platform. So at Heidi Tan Music, there's actually a widget there where you can actually download. You can actually download my song directly from my website. Okay. So, yes. And um, it's actually, uh, but it's all in the uh, uh, music platforms in case. So Amazon okay. and Spotify, everything. Okay. Yes. So when people listen to your music, Heidi, what do you want them to take away from you, from your music? Uh, I don't know. I just want to share my uh, mm -hmm. my passion, my mm -hmm. positive uh, spirit, and it reflects mm -hmm. on the music that I sing. So, yeah. And, yeah, and I'm also releasing another EP, by the way. It's coming okay. soon, in two months. So, yeah, we'll get together again. <laughs> Again, I'm so excited about yeah, that. Yeah, I have five, five, six songs to release, and that's a lot. Yeah, that, that's a lot. I know it's kind of hard to kind of say now, now, Heidi, with things slowly opening back up. Anything performance wise you can share with us? Yeah, we have. I have offers uh, to do a show in Vegas, and there's a offer to show uh, to do a show in Texas. But it's still under, you know, negotiation. But I'm planning something next year. I mean, planning an event because I produce shows too. I could produce my own show and get some artists with me. So, yeah, that'd be good. I mean, the song, the, the video that you that you showed, you saw, is we produced that uh, show that night. Yeah. Okay. So, so Heidi, have you thought of? Let me ask you this question. What what is what is your feature saying to Heidi Tan? Have you thought about that? Ah, uh, I really thought about it, huh? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, not sure. I'll think about it first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I just you know, I, for the most part, I mean, I'm very transparent. What you see is what you get. That's Heidi Tan. I'm I'm not trying to be someone else. I mean, I can be your girlfriend, your best friend, your neighbor, next door neighbor. I could bring a cup of ramen for you or nice. food, like hot meals. That's just me. I love gardening. I mean, I love hiking. Okay. That's yeah. Great. So, yeah. you know, Heidi, now, next time, and, I, you know, I always tell my friend Costello, when I come to California, I want to go out. I love to dance. And I, I, I want to go out dancing, Heidi. Wow. There's places here we can where we can go, and I can bring you to the beach because I'm close to the beach, actually. Yeah, oh. me and Costello are neighbors, actually. Oh, wow. We are, yeah, we're like 20 minutes away from each other. <laughs> it is amazing. So, so um, Heidi, any advice that you can give us uh, just about life in general? Um, for me, um, no one will believe in you if you don't believe in yourself. So have faith in yourself. And, you know, everything else will just follow. That's right. I mean, just chill down and, you know, everything, the universe will be loving you back. Yeah. If you feel positive about it, I feel like you know they know when you have a positive spirit, everything just comes at you in the positive way. But right. you gotta think of it in a bright way. But don't give up. Don't give up because there's there's gonna be challenges right. in life. 
But I feel like it's just going up and down. It's not going to stay down. It's going to go up. It's just a stages in life. Yeah. And yeah, I've gone through so much in life. So it's yeah. not all heaven and, you know, quarantine yeah. and everything. So, yeah, but I'm, I'm so glad that I'm a, I was able to experience performing uh, in different places like Asian hotels, bars, everything. I'm just so fortunate to be able to experience that. That's right. That's right. And I think, you know, that's a lot about life. life brings all of us challenges and it's, it's, it's how we kind of maneuver and move through those challenges. You know, we all fall down, but we get back up. Yeah. I mean, it's just a stage in life, but sometimes it's kind of slow and it's kind of not good. And uh, you feel like, oh, it's not going to get better, but it gets better and better. As, you know, the more that's you stay on it, the more it gets better. That's I right. Really it's yeah. It, it definitely gets better because all you have to do is put on a Heidi tan. I want to feel your body. I promise <laughs> you, it will be all better. <laughs> so, <laughs> so make sure you get kind of sexy. That's why I was I was just worried about if people if stations would like to play that's kind of daring. So let's see if station, but I you liked it. I was like, oh Jazzy likes the song. Oh, I love that song. I, I, let me tell you. A lot of times when I'm at the station on Saturday, I know I only post it one time, but sometimes I play the song two and three times when I'm at the station. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I play it and we, we get a lot of calls about it's like who is Heidi Tan? And you know, I don't, you know, I didn't know Heidi Heidi Tan. I said, Well, you you should get to know her, you know, follow her music. And you know, this is one question I wanted to ask you, Heidi. Uh what do you do when the world is not ready for your sound? Oh, I just, you know, just like, just like, I feel like I'm like a lion that I'm sharpening my teeth, you know, every yeah. day and ready to okay. strike anytime. Just be ready for anything. I mean, for me, and when it's chill time and you're not doing nothing, just practice. I believe that practice makes perfect. So just practice on your craft. Right. Yeah, do not give up. Keep practicing. That's right. And that's what Rex Salas. Listen to yourself. Practice. That's right. I mean, that's yeah. No one. You are your own critic. Nobody criticizes you more than you do, right? That, that, that's right. <laughs> and I'm, I'm real bad about that. I'm my own worst critic. I me too. I like. Oh, I'm terrible. I look terrible. I sound terrible. I'm flat. I'm sharp. Like, I think. Come on, stop. Yeah, I am terrible. Like, don't be like that. Yeah. Yeah, but I am like that sometimes, you know. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> Howdy, again, I, I love your your spirit. I, I just want to say thank you so much for coming on Artist Talk. Everyone that's on this live, for those who go back and watch the replay, please go over to HeidiTanMusic.com. Her new song is I Want to Feel Your Body. That's out now. Uh, Heidi, a lot of I was getting a text here and people were wondering like your other projects. Like, do you sign copies and mail copies? To people. Yes, I do. I do. I'm gonna actually uh, start doing that. But if you subscribe to my uh, to my website, then you you are gonna get the notifications on what music I'm gonna be uh, putting out. So I'm actually uh, starting to uh, to put my website actively, like put merchandise and probably you know give some promo to fans. If you purchase, you get a CD. You get you know do yeah. something. It's just hard because I'm working full time, honey. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's just so much. But I was able to multitask despite the eight-hour work that I'm doing. And I feel like music is my full time. <laughs> it's the opposite, <laughs> right? I can definitely relate to that, Heidi. But Heidi, I just want to say thank you so much for coming on the show. I want you to stick around for about a minute or so for me, okay? Yeah. I'll hang out with you. Okay. <laughs> Everybody, again, I want to thank my special guest, international recording artist, singer, and songwriter, Heidi Tan. Again, her latest release, I Want to Feel Your Body. <laughs> you heard it right here on Artist Talk. Go over to the website, which is posted here. Please share the video. It's all about support. Please support the artists. I know things are slowly about to open up, but our artists, independent artists, they all need your support. And again, I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, don't forget to go over to K Ward Radio. Make sure you subscribe to my 
YouTube channel, make sure you hit the notification bell. Ding! So you can go back, watch the, go back and watch some of the old shows with some amazing artists. Share with your friends as well as subscribe to kwardradio.com. Again, I, I think each of you that, that join the conversation tonight, join me on Saturday morning from 8 a.m. to 12 noon on WVAS 90.7. I'll be talking with my friend Whittington Steele, international recording artist. You don't want to miss that. I'm so excited to talk with her on tomorrow. Any artists that would like to be featured on this show, my um, information is posted there. You can mail me your physical copies of your CDs. I'll be happy to listen uh, to those as well. If you would like to support the show, any monetary gifts, PayPal cash app information is listed there. Hey guys, it's Friday. Again, get out and do something fun. Make sure you take care of yourselves. You know, make sure you take care of yourselves and, and be kind to others. That's important. I believe in being kind to others. Again, don't forget to join me back here on uh, Monday night. Have a jazzy weekend. Comments with the it factor. It's the Jesse K. War coming at you.